What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. Okay, it's time to subscribe. And subscribe. The reason why is because it's absolutely bell, free. Yeah. Watch. You might as well like, share. And come back. <laughs> <laughs> Just between you and me This is love There's no tricks Ooh, this is love Welcome to Just John and April The Relationship Podcast Your place to level up your intimacy Lance J Radio Network Lance <laughs> Lance Excited to be here again today yes. Lance Radio 1 here in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So I saw something today that I thought was interesting, and I said, man, we need to do this on the show. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Are you? I am. Why? This is my, you know... Your soapbox? This is my soapbox, you know? I can I can talk about this all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's what happened. Woke up this morning, and I got uh, a post in my feed. By this dude, Lecrae, mm-hmm. and it was a clip from a podcast. Now, of course, you and I are very much into podcasts because we have our own, and yeah. whenever it's a relationship-related thing, we are obviously are mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. open to this stuff because it, yeah. it, we want to be on the cutting edge of what's going on in the real world. Exactly. So, <laughs> we had some, and this this is the, here's the thing about this particular conversation that struck me. Mm-hmm. was the age of the people involved in the podcast. Right. These are young people that yes. were not married. Right. There were four young ladies mm-hmm. and two young men. And, and what this showed to me, <laughs> <laughs> what this showed to me is that women are women. I, I, I think that's true. I don't care if you're 20. I don't uh, care if you 80. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? This definitely... We s- have the same... Well... I guess I wouldn't say we all because it yeah. would depend on your generation. It will depend on where, you, how you grew up, and what you, but, you know. But hold but, on. But this conversation, in my opinion, we're about to tell you what it is. This conversation, in my opinion, is right in line. It's mm-hmm. on brand. Yes. With the women that we talk to, yes. who are older than the women that we saw on this particular exactly. thing today. But, but I do, even though generations have different ways of. Of doing things, yes. and what was traditionally done, or whatever. Right, right. But I think that this topic, no matter what, women are going to say the same exact thing that these girls said. All right, so here's what they said. Okay. Since you, we set you up now, and yeah, you can yeah, yeah, here yeah, it is. Yeah. The women basically said that they want a real man, mm-hmm. and then they used the word traditional too. I'm not sure if it was one of the guys who said traditional, and they said yes, yeah. or if they offered that word. I'm not positive, but right, when right, they right. described mm-hmm. what it was that they wanted out of a man. Someone said traditional, and they were like, yeah. And what I'm saying is, every woman is going to say they want a real man. That's I agree what I'm saying. I, I agree That's with what that. I'm saying. I don't I, care if, you, I agree with that. I don't care if you're 18. Or if I don't you're care if you are 80. <laughs> you're going to say you want a real man. Right. So what they okay. meant by that was they wanted a man who was protective, who could lead, who could take initiative, things like that who were in their list. Who takes care of her. Taking care of her, stuff like that. Let's, so that, that's, yes, that's the stuff that they mentioned, all. right? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay, now, I had no problem with that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think there was any issue at all. In fact, the clip I could have turned off after that. Like, that's what they all say. Right. But then, one of the guys pushed back and said, it, you know what? It was the guy that said traditional. You know why? Because I remember his <laughs> sentence. He said, so basically what you're saying is you want a traditional man. Mm-hmm. And the girl was like, yeah, that's what the Bible says. Right, and, she did. And, and, she was like, yeah, that's what the Bible yeah. says. And, and he was like, okay, okay. <laughs> then he said, he said, but you don't want to be a traditional woman. Mm. And and she kind of looked like, what you mean? Mm-hmm. And he said, are any of you virgins? Mm. And all four of them sat there like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, all right, then. So how but you going to want, he was like, he how said, you want a traditional man? Right. And you're not a traditional woman. Then he said... Do, do any of y'all have like a recipe book? And I was like, recipe book? <laughs> that was a little much. You but, do not have to have a recipe book. I agree. But I get what he was saying. But his point like, was- any of y'all okay, cooking he, in the kitchen. He said, any of y'all cooking, yeah. do y'all have like a recipe book like right. that? And they mm-hmm. were like, you know. And so so his- said, Some of them said, yes, I can cook, I can cook. I don't necessarily they have, have a recipe, recipe book. book. Right. But do you have to have a recipe book? Babe? I, no, Come you on. don't. You okay. do not. But here's my point though. Mm-hmm. Here's my point. He said after that, basically, y'all want a traditional man, but y'all don't want to be traditional women. Yeah. All right, so I said, I got to ask April this, live on the show. (laughs) 
Because I already know my wife. My wife is feminish. I'm feminish. And so that. my question mm-hmm. is, do you think that's okay? Do you think it's okay for a woman to require that her man fit traditional roles mm-hmm. and then get mad at him <laughs> when he wants his woman to fill Ooh. traditional roles as well? Um, I'm going to tell you <laughs> why. I'm going to tell you why I think that's okay. So you think that's okay? Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. All now, right, I'm not saying that a man cannot want some traditional things for the woman. That's not what I'm saying. You're not saying that the man cannot want traditional no. things from his woman. Okay. No. If, if she, you know, there's a lot of double negatives tra- in this. So I wouldn't show. <laughs> okay. I, get, I, get what, <laughs> I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying it's okay I think if it's a okay. man wants a traditional woman. That's yeah, fine with if you. If you want a traditional woman, that's n- I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay. If you All right. want a tra- now, if you're going to get one, that's yeah. a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> but where well, you gonna find one but okay. it's okay if you want one. okay all right, okay all right. you know i'm not gonna knock you down for that right okay but i feel like okay i'm, I'm just gonna say what i feel please because, that's why you're on the show girl yes so you know i i say this a lot and that is i feel that women go through what blacks have gone through when it comes to racism the blacks the blacks <laughs> what the blacks have gone through. yeah yeah what we have gone through as a people what we have gone when it comes through to racism people, yeah you feel like women have I been feel like, oppressed on that level yes when it comes to men yes and just like blacks still are we as black people yes still are yes okay women still are and i would argue we still don't get paid i would we still Get less than, you know, yes. you're seen as yes. weak. I agree. I'm just saying. You're right. Now, I would say, I would say that actually, more than likely, women, not more than likely, definitely, women as a whole have been oppressed in this way longer than the African slave has been. Mm. So, so there's yeah, been, that's the truth. There's, there's been slavery throughout the, the history of our world yes. and every kind of people has been enslaved by other people. Right. Uh, African slavery was different from some of the other ones, but that's not really the point. The point is women have been oppressed by men really since the from beginning. From the beginning. Really since from the fall. Since the sin came beginning. into the world. That's yes. basically what we're dealing with. Yes. Okay, all right. Let's be real. All right, so okay. I, we're on the same page there. Okay, so what I'm saying I'm following is, you. I'm, 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 follow I'm, me pick, here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you know, it's very hard for us yeah. not to be able to move into, to become that modern woman that we want to be. Okay. Because we have been oppressed for so long, because yes. we've been 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 kind of forced to be in the position of staying home with the kids mm. and, 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 and cooking the food. Mm. Not saying that that's not naturally in some women. Mm. I do believe that that's a natural thing to be a nurturer. Mm-hmm. So I'm not mm-hmm. saying that some women do it and don't want to. Right. Okay. Yeah. But some women did it because they were forced. Right. Because they, they had, had to do to. that. They felt there was no other option. There was no other option. Yeah. And so they pro- they felt like they couldn't even live if they didn't have a man. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Back in the day. Yes. And so I'm saying years and years of that. And that's a mental thing. That is a psyche. That's yes. that, that actually goes into the psyche of every born woman. Yes. Okay. Not even intentionally. Okay. Right? Yes. So I think that when we are asked or, or, or said that they are, that men want us to be in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> It just, br- man, that thing, that thing turns your stomach. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that, all right. So here's the real question. And this is what men want to know. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Mm-hmm. The men want to know this. Okay. So does that mean you just said it was okay for a man to want a traditional woman? Or since you said that, I guess it's okay for a man to want certain things that maybe are attributes of, of a, a traditional, traditional woman, woman, right? I, I think How that's okay. should a man say to his wife, these are some things that I would love to see or to have. It, is that a conversation that they can't even have? And, I, and I'm using your racism uh, <laughs> example because, you know, when, when yeah. white people come up to you mm-hmm. and they ask you a question that seems ignorant, you get upset because you're like, why are you asking me that? Why is don't it the you same, know that? Yeah, or, why don't yeah. You know that? Is it the same kind of thing for no. men? Is it automatic that if I come to you and say, hey, babe, I would love it if you cook more, would that automatically be I would get shut down and I shouldn't even ask about that. No, and if, since you talked about the racism and, and white people coming and, and, and saying stuff or asking questions, if it, it has to be done in the right way. Okay. Like if it's done in a an appropriate way that you know we feel is appropriate yes. or is right or whatever so that, you want to call it. I guess it, what I want to know is unlock unlock for husbands today. What is the right way? What you is know, a way that a man could come to his wife and say, I would love to have more of this particular thing? I think thing. in an appreciative way. In a way okay. that's not 
um, because this is what women do. This is what you should be doing as a woman. Or you see what I'm saying? Yes. If yes. it's, you know, I love when you do this and it makes me feel so good. Mm. You know, that's a whole different thing yes. than, than the attitude of, look, I, I don't do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't do that. So I don't cook. So I, don't I cook. hope you do. You know, my mama didn't, my, ma, my mama didn't, my mom always did all the cooking. Mm. She did all the cleaning. So I don't do that. So don't, that's a whole nother. So if I want you to do something, do not mention my mama. Please do Check. Not. Please do not. I love your mama to death, but I do know. not mention your mama. Everybody okay. on this show knows I was just kidding because okay. I've been known you. <laughs> I know I can't do that. But let me just say this though. Mm-hmm. When, when a woman gets a man who is a man, mm-hmm. a real man. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna just name some things, you know, who can who can take care of the money properly. Mm. Okay, who can keep a job, Mm. who can take care of the family. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know that if something breaks, it's gonna get fixed. You Mm. know that your car is gonna be on point. Even though, see, this is what I'm saying. A man who can do those things wants to do those things. Yeah, but knowing that his wife is independent enough to do all that stuff on her own. Oh my goodness, that is a turn on. <laughs> and I'm saying if men knew that was such a turn on to yeah. women, yeah, yeah, that yeah, may yeah. be why some men aren't getting as much sex as they want. Oh. Because they're not being the real man that she needs them to be. Ooh. I'm just saying. Like, we always see things as, you know, sexy stuff and mm-hmm. this and that and the other mm-hmm. is what it is that's mm-hmm. gonna make her mm-hmm. want. No, mm-hmm. let me tell you something. The fact that you can keep the family uh secure uh, and secure safe. and safe. Keep for my a car woman, running. And I feel like a queen. Make sure it's filled with gas. Exactly. That and I'm saying, but knowing that I can go get gas myself. You know you can do knowing it. Knowing that and, I can pay and these I, bills. So I'm not doing it in a belittling way. I'm not, not doing it as no. though you're a little kid and I have to exactly. do this. Exactly. Or yeah. you are above me, mm. but that we're equal, but yeah. you choose to do it because you want to treat me like mm. a queen? What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think you just that unlocked is, it for all kinds of men just Let now. me tell you something. You literally just that changed is, their relationship. That is the real man You that just took a their intimacy wants. to a new level just now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and I'm saying if you want to call that, if you want to call that a woman wanting a traditional man, then 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 call it that. Mm. But if, if if it's a traditional man that turns us on, mm-hmm. yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I'm not saying that I, I'm not. I think that it is possible to do all those things on my, on the list that yeah. I just named, yeah. and be a modern man. Okay, I, you know I think what I'm so saying? too. I I don't think you only have to be a traditional. Man. I, here's the difference for me between a traditional and a modern man. A traditional man would have an attitude of you do this because you're supposed to because you're the woman. Mm-hmm. I think a modern man does exactly what you said, and that is recognizes that his woman has the ability to do Thank all these you. things. Thank She's you. self-sufficient. Exactly. She can do as much as I do, but she doesn't have to do that, and I don't want her to have to do that because I want her to feel loved. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's what it. I think the real difference that's is. It. And, and, and I'm saying if you are doing that, mm-hmm. and you come and you say, Bae, you know what I'm saying? I love when you do this or that for me because it makes me feel so cared for. It makes mm-hmm. me feel like you're king. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. We be up in that kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you say you want me in there because your grandma did it, uh-uh. <laughs> and this is the way it's supposed to be, and no, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, All right, word of the day. Let's go to the word of the day. This going to help us now, I think. Hey, hey. All right, babe. What's the word of the day? The word of the day is candor. Candor. Okay. Candor. Well, I say candor. I say candor. I mean, it's spelled C A N D O R. Yeah, but you you say er for those. Yeah. yeah, Candor. Okay, so candor. Mm -hmm. The quality Mm -hmm. of being open and honest in expression. Frankness. So explain that. Why is this the word of the day? I think what we're really talking about here today is automatically, at least in my experience, and maybe other men feel the same way, Mm -hmm. my experience has been, I have been afraid most of my married life. (laughs) Maybe that's not a good word, but it's basically afraid. Okay. I've been basically afraid most of my married life to really express my feelings on this subject Mm -hmm. because I feel as though it's one of those areas where if I don't say it exactly right, I'm probably going to get my head bit off. Mm. But, But I think... Have if, you said it right over the years? No. Okay. I mean, Just I think making I've, sure we know I th- that, that. I think I've learned to say it right. But here's what I think: I think if I had always been candid, if I had always used candor from the beginning, mm. like in year mm-hmm. one. And mm-hmm. just said exactly what I was feeling. I think we would have been a lot further, a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. I think it took us a lot longer to get to where. You know what? That's one of the things that we help people with, yeah. and that is we can help you get yes. a lot further, faster. Faster. So the thing is, you, you, you're gonna learn stuff, and you're gonna find stuff in the wrong way. <laughs> yes. There are things we can show you that helps you to get yes. there faster, and that's 
important. It is important. So if we could have told ourselves this, if I could have gone back in a time machine in year one, I would have said to John, John, tell April exactly how you feel about this subject, even if you get it wrong, Mm -hmm. because you won't be dealing with this anymore in year five. Right. But we're still dealing with it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I still really hadn't been candid with you. Yeah. I had no candor in this category because I was scared. To say the wrong thing. I think it would have been better to be like, yo, just do it. It's crazy because I feel like this, the the wording could be, you know, for me, Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, you are my queen, Mm -hmm. right? This is the way I could have said it to you. Yes, it is. You are my queen Uh uh and I want to take care of you. Uh And when you take care of me, I feel like you're king. Mm. When you say, I feel like you're king, it doesn't make me feel like I'm beneath you. Yes. It doesn't make me feel like that. It makes me feel like... Wow, that when you do things for me, you lift me up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When women yeah. know that what they're doing is lifting their man up, it makes us want to do it more. Yeah. But when it's, we're doing this for our man because he feels like um, that's what we should be, that's what we're supposed to do. Right. It's a whole, a totally it's thing. a totally different thing. Yeah. You know? That makes And it makes you sense. not feel appreciated. I agree. Yeah. That makes complete sense. So. It's very simple. It is actually simple. pretty simple. It, simple. I don't know how easy it is. It, maybe not easy but for some simple. men, but it's very simple. <laughs> and, and humility will help you be able to Oh, there's say. no question about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, Definitely. so I, I'm going to have... Uh, first of all, we already are at the stage now where we have candor in our we relationship. Do. And, we and have it's it. getting... I mean, I, it's so true. If we had known this... You it would have made a difference. It really would have made a difference. A lot but would have been a lot faster. Knowing farther, it now, faster. after almost twenty-one years, yeah, you know, we can benefit from it now. I agree. Yeah, we are benefiting, and hopefully, this helps you. Hopefully, we're helping your relationship too. Get to yeah, that guys. next level of intimacy. So go ahead and just practice this joint. Practice candor. A little more candor. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, hey. see y'all next time. Trust next me, week, guys. same time, same channel. It's a turn on, guys. Real <laughs> men. Trust me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,